Could you bear the suspense, everyone? Could you wait until this episode where we would excitingly walk to the other side of the park and back? Oh yes, it was so exciting. What a cliffhanger I left you all off on. I am the Moy Chicken, and this is more Touch Detective. In the last episode, we, f we began the second case, the case of the disappearance of Penelope. She has gone missing after she followed a purple Frankenstein's monster somewhere. And now we we found out that her room had been rifled. Someone had uh, broken the window and left behind clues. The clues we have are this spooky handkerchief with gold teeth and something. I swear it looks like it's embroidered with a name down here, but I can't look at it for some reason. We also have this order slip, which we will be able to use tomorrow. We brought it by Sweet Fountain and they said you can use it tomorrow. We also have the key to, we have the key to uh, Penelope's room, uh, which s suspiciously was not locked, actually, when we got there. And we have this photo album, which is missing a photo. So we're currently wandering around trying to find out if anyone knows what may have happened to Penelope. Um, we've checked most places at this point, so let's talk to, let's talk to good, bo good boy Cromwell again. Trouble seems to follow her. And I guess that's all we get. Okay, he didn't help. Um, can I sleep? Oh, I have the bear. I have the bear? Hello. So sweet. Let's bring him. Yes. All right. Oh, we brought the ugly bear. That's cool, I guess. I don't know that I wanted that, but all right. That's fine. Um, so we're still trying to figure out what happened to Penelope. We don't know where she went or really anything relating to um, where she's gone. We do All we know is that her room was rifled for some reason. Um, also, it looks like, the, like there's, there's a rock here and a broken window, which suggests to me that someone threw the, threw the rock through the window to get in, but what were they looking for? Was it, and, and there are no bananas, which is significant to me. Um, like, I don't... It doesn't seem like there's anything else here. The bed was used, and it looks like someone got... The suspect was angry. Hmm. Let's ask around. Let's ask other people. Who is it? Um, it's Detective McKenzie. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Can you come back later? Um, it's about Penelope. Did anything unusual happen? Well, I haven't seen her in the last couple of days. Come to think of it, I haven't heard her either. Is she performing in a play or something? I hear her talking all day long. She's so loud and what she's saying. It's so strange, it's driving me crazy. What's she saying? What's she saying? She says, Here I come, Mr. Flapjack, gonna eat ya. Then she says, Ah, stop it, not the syrup. Then... Let's see if you can survive the powder sugar. She's like torturing her pancakes. Mwa ha 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 ha. Strange, huh? Yes. But that's Penelope for you. What do you think of her? What do you think of her? Oh, she's so strange. But she's a sweetheart, so I don't mind. Alright, I guess that's all for that. Um, let's check with the people. Oh, just a little while ago, I heard the sound of glass breaking in a room. It could be a thief. Shouldn't you check it out? I already did, but I guess I can check again. Uh, maybe this rock? I feel like I, I need, there's some, you know, with, with these kind of games, it's all about flags. You know, it's all about figuring out how to flag to the game that you have learned something and you want it to continue. Oh, it's one big box. I wonder what's inside. Yeah, I wonder what is inside. Um, so there's some flag I haven't tripped to get this to go, move along. Um, anybody? Nope. Nobody's available. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> Let's check with Beatrice again. Hold on, I'm coming. So, have you found any clues? Yes, follow me. Oh, here we go. 
Oh my... Oh dear, what happened here? I don't know, I just got here. Yes, yeah, something happened. Good luck investigating. Ah, uh, thanks. Tch. Window will need to be replaced. I really should have set a security alarm. Ugh. Okay. Can I now check the rock? So there was a security alarm. That's interesting. Tell me about the security alarm. I'm curious about that. Tell me of the security alarm. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, well, moving on. <laughs> I guess I had to... See, that, that was like a flag. Like, I needed to speak to her, and now there's something going on in the town. That, that, like, that's, that's both the positive and negative of this kind of game. Like, if you can view this type of game without thinking in terms of flags, it's much more enjoyable, and it feels more organic. But once you start thinking in terms of flags, it's hard to stop. What are you doing, Chloe? What is this? Chloe, what are you doing? What do you want? I'm very busy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you think? I'm looking for Penelope. Isn't that what you should be doing? I am. Oh, whatever. I'm giving, it, giving my all to find her. You should be thanking me. Penelope's room. Penelope's room is sacked. <laughs> you think it has anything to do with the disappearance? Hmm. Okay. Oh, never mind. Really? What is this? What am I looking at here? Hey, this is a picture of Penelope. I just took it. <laughs> so the funny thing about Penelope is she's got like the little like single eyelash coming off of her eye, but it looks the same as when um, Mackenzie has her like, fur oh, sorry about that, H has her like furrowed eyebrows, and so it always just looks to be like that like Penelope's quietly pissed off about something. <laughs> it's Penelope. What does this say? Penelope's handwriting. It's Penelope. Okay. What is this, what is this sign? Missing person. Okay, what's this? Hey, hey, don't touch my stuff. All right. Cool. What? What's? What's with the stuff? What's with the stuff? What? What do you want? I'm very busy. What are you doing? Why are you guarding that? Okay. I am now suspicious of this stuff. What is this? Hey, 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 don't touch my stuff. What is this? Let me see it. Don't touch my stuff. What is it? I want to know. Do you know, do you know what this is? Here. What? Hey, that's my handkerchief. What are you doing with it? It was in Penelope's room. It, it was? It might be the thief's. What? I, I resent that. I'm not a thief. Uh, Chloe. Uh, oh, my mistake. Uh, it doesn't look anything like mine. <laughs> hmm. Do you know about this? See? The photo is missing. Yeah. I think the suspect peeled it off. I is that so? <laughs> hmm. Does this... Perhaps this fit with this? Aha! Oh, from the photo album. But how did she get it? Did you break into her house? Um, now it... Look at this. What's wrong? The photo you have. It was taken from this album. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> um... What do you want? I'm very busy. Let me get- let me see your stuff now. Let me see your stuff. No, not you. I want to look at your stuff. Let me look at your stuff. 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 
Do you have something to hide? Of course not. Um, I just don't want you seeing it. I have nothing to hide. Please be my guest. Did you just hide something? Alright, what do we got here? Oh, there's nothing here. There should be something. What do you want? This is... <laughs> Chloe, I hate to ask this, but is that a banana in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> what, what did you just do? Nothing. I didn't do anything. I just stole your boner. <laughs> There's a banana here. There's a sticker with Penelope written on it. <laughs> so it was Chloe. Chloe... This says Penelope on it. What about this? I, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Seriously. Well, what? That. What? If, if you have something to say, say it. That's Penelope's banana. I have no idea what you're talking about. Do you have any proof that it's Penelope's banana? No, right? You don't have any proof, because all bananas look alike. <laughs> There's a name written on it. You're absolutely crazy. I mean, a name on a banana? Who would write their name? Oh. See? What is this? Is she insane? Why would she write her name on a banana? For a time like this, when someone stole her banana. What? In case someone took it. She would like, she would know it was hers. Oh. Hi, hi. See? Then I'll, I'll, I'll just eat them all. <laughs> Chloe, are you okay? <laughs> Ugh. What are, you, what are you gonna do now? All the evidence is gone. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Banana peels. Um, bad news. An item for comedians. Uh, banana peel? Evidence. Oh no, I messed up. Oh, the name was written on the peel, not on the banana. Ah! Throw! Ugh, I should have eaten more. Biggest mistake of my life. You'll pay for this, Mac. I won't forget this insult. What? Bonk! Ouch! What a perfect comedian she is. You alright? What? Why are you here? To investigate, of course. I love that she's just... We're having this conversation while she's lying on the ground. You broke the window? I had no choice. Uh, the door was locked. It was locked! It's so messy. That's how a room looks after you search it. Hmm. What is it? Did you find any clues? Ugh. Just bananas? Oh, whatever. They were rotten anyways. Oh, the bananas has gone bad! What a shame. What's with the Inquisition? Treat me as if I'm a criminal. Hm, just because I broke into someone's room and stole things. I ain't no criminal. Ugh. What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Art! Performance art! Oh, I see. Ugh. Help me! Yeah, you're so cold-hearted. Cold nope, done. I'm gonna get this. Do you want this back? Do you want this handkerchief that's totally not your handkerchief back? Guess not. What's in your stuff box? There's nothing here. Oh, okay. Um... Well, I guess we now know who... <laughs> we've solved the case of who broke into a, into a room, but... I don't really know that that helps very much. Um... Good news. Nope, not helpful. Okay. Um. 
And I don't feel any closer now. Check the park. Hi there. Alright, yeah, you're only interested in health. Okay, cool. Bye. Hmm. I wonder if I I wonder if I tripped a flag somewhere that I can find. Let's wander around and see what we can find. Back to the shopping plaza, I suppose. Oop, Chloe's gone. Chloe hath the vanished. Uh, how's Penelope then? Eh, uh, same things. Okay, yep. Yep. Pantomiming to herself, which is hilarious. I love that. I love that. That makes me so happy. That she just pantomimes to herself. Alright. I want to find a- I want to find a break in the case. I feel st a little bit stuck right now. Let's see. Do you have my thing yet? Whatever it was? Can I give you this? Tomorrow. Okay, yeah. Still can't do that. Um... Well, go back to the office, I guess. That's not what to do. Um... Hmm. Hey, Cromwell. This. Banana. That. Nope. Crap. I'm a little bit stuck now. Urgh, I want to. I want to find a break before we end the episode, but we're up, we're up against time again. Ah. Where have I not been? Um. I tell you what. Let's go and talk to... Like, now that we have this picture, maybe we can show it to people. Oh yeah, here we go. Have you seen this girl before? Yes, I have. What is his voice? I don't know. She's always sunbathing on that bench. I hope she's using sunscreen. I thought she was a doll. She looks like a cute doll. But anyways, getting too much sunlight isn't good for your skin. That's why I warned her the other day. I told her that active oxygen results from UV rays. I thought that would frighten her, but she just smiled. What a weird kid. Cool. Um, alright. What about you? Hey, kid, what do you want? Um, well, have you seen this girl? No. Okay. Right, let's, 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 uh, let's drag this one out a little bit longer and I'll, I'll, I'll show it around to various people. So we'll check to see if Dover has seen her. Dover! But yeah. Do you know this girl? Yeah, I know. Her name is Penelope. <laughs> Penelope, Penelope, Penelope. <laughs> um Pardon? Uh hello? Oh sorry, Penelope. <laughs> My Penelope comes here a lot. You're Penelope. Well, I haven't seen her today. Or yesterday, either. Or the day before that. Oh, I saw her then. Uh, but not here. Uh, where was it? Blimey, Lugo! That old codger Lugo! Sod it! Uh, what's so great about him, huh? I hardly call that a town. Am I right or am I right? Uh, I don't know. Who's Lugo? Who's this? Like, I feel like those three options were exactly what I would say. It's like, yes, I don't know. Who's Lugo? <laughs> Who's Lugo? What? You don't know? Oh, you must be joking. Yeah, I'm joking. All right, then. Lugo's the old codger who plays the organ. Oh, it's Purple Frankenstein's monster. He's always performing in front of the planetarium. Planetarium. Organ grinder? There's some music box uh, about yay big. Who has a handle you crank around and around? And the music it plays is bloody awful. Sounds like a cat in heat. I've heard it. Okay. So... Can we go to the planetarium now? Do I have a new location? 
Hey, okay, we got a new location. Okay, so in the next episode, we will move on to the planetarium, and hopefully things will happen, and it'll be exciting, and we'll see Purple Frankenstein's monster, and he will play an organ grinder, and he likes when the windmill goes around and around. So I hope you come back joining me for that. I am the Moly Chicken. This has been Touch Detective. Thanks for stopping by.